Good morning everybody, in this video we're going to talk about train stations, airports, how they work, how they don't work, pollution, all that crap, let's get straight to it. As you can see, every train station adds 5 pollution and on the top left of my screen you'll see I got 25 pollution every single turn with a total of 1185 pollution. To counter that I'm adding a couple nature reserves which will reduce pollution by 3, so you'll need 2 nature reserves for every train station. Now there are other ways to reduce pollution as we progress, but more on that later. Before you can start building your train stations, you have to research steam engines which becomes available in the industrial era. For the train station to work, you're gonna need at least two, and they have to be placed in neighboring territories. So if I were to travel from this point all the way up here, I'm gonna need to build a train station in every territory between the two points. Another good tip is to place the train station next to wherever your troops are spawning. That way you don't have to worry about spending movement points getting to the train station itself. When using the train station you will spend one movement point between each station. Also one more thing that's worth mentioning is that you can't cross the oceans with any train, you're going to have to use boat or airport. To build an airport you're going to have to research aerial warfare which can be researched in the contemporary era. Now for every airport that you build you're going to add 15 pollution and you're going to have to build at least two to make them work. The first airport promises international travel. Intercourse between nations. Uh. Now to use air travel you're gonna have to select your army, place it on top of the airport and then click the airplane icon as shown in the video and then click the airport you want to travel to. Now to reduce the pollution caused by the airports and the train station you can build a nuclear plant or a hydroelectric dam but they will only affect cities with airports and train stations already built in them. Now that's going to be it for this video, if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one, peace.